learning how to factor expressions. When you are factoring an expression, you are going to write the expression as a product of factors, then you're going to use the distributive property to factor the expression. So let's actually see how this works. So let's say we have the expression 24x minus 18, and we're being asked to factor it using the greatest common factor, or the GCF for short. So the first thing that we want to do when we're factoring the expression is write the expression as a product of factors. And the reason we do this is this is going to help us to find the GCF here. So we're going to take our first term, 24x, And I'm going to find its prime factorization. So I'm going to make a factor tree. So I know that 6 times 4 gives me 24, and 2 times 3 gives me 6, and these are both primes, so I can't go any further with them, and 2 times 2 gives me 4. So a couple more primes. So 24x can be rewritten as... 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times x. So I rewrote it as a product of factors. I'm going to do the same thing with my second term, 18. So 18 can be broken into 6 and 3. 3 is a prime. And 6 can be broken into 2 and 3. So 18 can be rewritten as... 2 times 3 times 3. So in this case, I see that both terms have a 2 in common and a 3 in common. So 2 times 3 gives us 6. So in this case, our GCF for these two guys is 6. So I'm going to distribute out a 6 here. I'm going to rewrite both of my terms with that 6 factored out using the distributive property to help me. So I had 24x minus 18. But now I'm going to be thinking about what times 6 gave me this 24x and what times 6 gave me that 18. So 6 times 4x would give me my first term 24x and 6 times 3 would give me my 18. So now I'm going to use this distributive property. I'm going to put 6 out front and make this 4x minus 3. So now I have factored out my greatest common factor. The 6 is out here in front. Now if I wanted to go back to what I started with, I would just use the distributive property to multiply this 6 back in. 6 times 4x would be 24x minus 6 times 3 would be my 18. So this time, we're being asked to factor out the coefficient of the variable. So x is my variable, the coefficient is 1 half. So I'm going to start by taking my terms and rewriting them as a product of factors. So I've got 1 half x, and I want to take out a 1 half. So I'm trying to figure out what 1 half x is going to be if I divide out half. This is a pretty easy one. It's going to leave me with x. So I'm going to do the same thing for my other term, 3 over 2. So 3 over 2, if I divide out this coefficient, I'm going to actually have 3 over 2 times 2 over 1. I've got some cross-reducing I can do, and I get 3. Okay, so for this guy, when I factored out a 1 half, I got 3. So I'm going to rewrite them as that uh, product of factors. So this guy would be 1 half times x to get the term 1 half x. And this guy would be 1 half times 3 to get the term 3 over 2. So using my distributive property, I'm going to rewrite these. So a half times x would give us the 1 half x, plus a half times 3 would give us the 3 over 2. So I'm just going to put the 1 half out here in front, and inside I'm going to have x plus 3. So this is my factored expression, 
If I wanted to go back to the original, I would just multiply this one half back in. I'd get one half X and three over two. All right, one more. We're being asked to factor out negative two from negative four P plus 10. So I'm going to start with my first term, the negative four P, and I'm going to divide out a negative two. So negative four P divided by negative two would leave me with two P. I'm gonna do the same thing with my second term, 10. 10 divided by negative two would give me negative five. So now I'm gonna rewrite these as a product of factors. So two P times negative two gives me my negative four P and negative five times negative two gives me my positive 10. So now I'm gonna use the distributive property to rewrite this expression. So I was taking out a negative two. So negative two times two P would give me that first term and negative two times negative five would give me the second term of 10. So I'm gonna put that negative two out front. I have two P plus negative five. And whenever I get this guy, I can simplify. So negative two P times two P minus five. 